I'm going to take it to you. Here it is. It's the Ultimate Spider-Man. And as you can see here, there's a couple different games. Bank Strike, Arcades Playland, Building Blaze, Comic Book Shuffle, Incendiary Antics. The unique thing about this that caught my eye and made me get it was that touch screen. So I was debating on whether or not just to resell it because it's still in the package, but the package is kind of messed up and it's practically opened anyway. So let's open it up. See what we got going on here. This is TV games touch. We have on off switch, LED light, button, touch pad, and I think it's gonna be pretty much like operating a touch pad on a computer. So I think we're good to go. Here's our system. We have our on off switch on the top. And I guess this is operating like a mouse pad, track pad pretty much, and that'll be the button. Let's load this thing up with batteries and see how it works. 2012, this game was created. What a time to be alive. We got our trusty classic sharp television, picked up this thing a while back. It's got RCA connections. It's got everything except HDMI. I got use out of this with the electronic Etch-A-Sketch. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. Spoiler alert, you're not missing much. So oh, I just wanna draw. How do I draw? If you're the first time visiting this channel, I go to the thrift store and I work on little projects and I share a little bit of everything, but mostly the thrift store finds. So we have our classic RCA white and yellow. It's gonna be mono. So let's see what we got. Can we get some room here? Can we get some room? There it is. Calibrating, do not touch. Look at that. So it looks like it says, drag your finger to the highlight selection. Tap top corners together for pause or back. Okay, boom. Like this and like this. Oh yeah, it's on game time. So here's a close up of the game pad. It's pretty basic, a touch pad. Oh, oh it's, it's really responsive. Let's just get into it. Which one first? Bank strike? Okay. There we go, we get a little bit of the sound but it's not too much. So I guess we're gonna press the button. The kingpin is robbing all the banks of New York. Stop him and rescue the hostage. Touch pad edges, move top center, tap to shoot web. Okay, we're gonna learn as we go. Okay, okay. Oh, cool, okay, okay, see that? Boom. Okay, it shoots. If you've ever played Spider-Man on the uh, Game Boy. <laughs> oh, you gotta shoot a lot of them. I didn't, am I, how terrible am I at this? Oh, very. Oh my gosh, I gotta rescue them. I don't know how to, am I out of web? So I crawl. I keep wanting to hit like buttons up here. There aren't any. There we go. I want him to jump higher. Does it seem like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I don't. Go back, try one of the other games. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's just a matter of understanding the controls and knowing that it's not a computer. Incendiary, in, I can't say that. Incendiary uh, antics. Oh, I like that. Look at that. It's different. Oh, Green Goblin. Ah, I get it. It's kind of funny because it's like he has guns, but not really. Okay, I got it now. You gotta do it kind of like this. Uh oh, pumpkin. Ooh, get it. Hey, this is my first time playing. Give me a break. I can see where your hands can kind of get cramped up. You can kind of see I'm working. 
I'm sure there's probably a more comfortable way to do this. Man, too bad this isn't like a point and shoot like that. Not stop that green goblin. Oh, press the button to hold. Smart, you see that? Don't shoot! Okay, cool. Let's go back. Comic book shuffle. Let's see what this is about. Oh gosh, I don't know what... Okay, I should have read maybe the directions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. There we go, there we go, we're getting something. Boom! It's like Tetris, but more difficult and less fun. <laughs> we got the idea of that game. Let's go to the next one. Come on, come on. I'll tell you, this isn't. A, this has a little bit of a texture to it, and it does kind of had a little battery issue. I don't know where that cut off, but depending on where that was, we got the idea of that game. Let's go to the next one. Building Blaze. I like that slide, that's cool. Can I shoot webs? Looks like I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. I can see where I kind of just want a controller. Look at that, Under, upside down. Button to break doors, got it. Break door. Whoa, okay, that's how we're gonna break the door. That's how you do it. And that killed me. So there you go. All right, let's try a different one. Arcade Playland. Oh, look, top down. What the heck? Weird, weird. I thought that was a good thing, but they're actually turning into it like electric. Man, I feel like I could crush this if this was a real regular controller. Good enough, we get the idea. So there you go, that's pretty neat. There's definitely like some nice options all revolving around the Spider-Man world. Ultimately, it looks like the bank strike is the most Spider-Man-y one of all of them. We were actually moving through slinging webs and running and Helping people. Classic Spider-Man. Yeah, I could totally have a lot more control with the controller. Look at that, I'm going crazy. That was, I'm getting better, at least. <laughs> as soon as I say that. All right, I think we get the idea. Very cool. It's high scores, and I guess as long as the battery's in there, it'll save everything. Ultimate Spider-Man TV Games Touch. For a plug and play, this is a really unique game, and now I'm curious to check out to see if there were some other designs that were made with this same touchpad feature. Pretty unique, not the most ergonomic to hold, but once you get the hang of it, it is a definitely a, a unique experience. And I really like that each one of these games offers a different use of the touchpad, so it's not just different levels of the same type of game, but a completely different gameplay. So it gives some variety for this little plug and play action-packed Spider-Man game. Thank you.